These events are turned around. Has ruler modified our Hindu Shaiva 4. Gain ruler has to move 5 or 4. I don't need to be at war. I just not need I just need to not be in a regency. And then I'll get plus one diplo. So can I get myself a level three prestige guy? Please. Ugh. Yeah, I know, but then you have to go Vishnu, so... Man, that jungle fort sure did a number on my manpower, though. <laughs> Alright, Murtipa, I no longer need military access through your land. Stop stealing my Diplo points. Shit, I'm coring that. Fuck me. No way. Right, fuck that. Eight months till we hit the cap here. And we can peace out in 12. So for four months or two uh, fake coring, we need to do fake coring twice. Probably want to get an army to take care of those rebels. this up to lower the war score cost. Okie dokie. fake coring do? It allows me to save up my admin points. Don't need to do that just yet though. Yeah, and I, I guess we'll just peace out. Actually, I really want to peace out the Netherlands by then, but I... We can't. I don't have uh, the war score for it. Nor would that help me out that much. So we're just going to peace out uh, Lithuania instead for 200%.
And yeah, there's gonna be two cores that we won't have finished, but... I mean, honestly... What are we really gonna do about that? is war exhaustion man I've got war exhaustion with the Netherlands and I won't have that with Lithuania so that that's basically why I'm like well it depends we'll see in May Start the fake coring. Now I've got the national unrest guy. I really want to go grab the prestige guy though. It's gonna take some time before we find him anyway. So and and you know what? There you go. That's what. Now um, let's see here. Ooh, could ask for contribution. Don't really need the money though. Let's uh, forget about that for now. Ah. Yeah, let's start the fake coring. Now it's going to be really difficult to tell where my 10% cores are supposed to be. But let's just use three months as like a leeway or like two months. Just to be safe. I wouldn't want to be caught with my pants now. this down okay <clears throat> okay so it's change of plans we are going to peace out the Netherlands so after we siege down Christmas Island we'll get plenty of war score and I'd rather piece them out first because they right now are causing me war exhaustion. Can't make it last for another month, so we have to reset those cores. Two months, and then we'll have to reset it again. Set that shit again. Okay. Just 
two months, and then we reset it again. Reset that. Seats down Christmas Island. Let's wait for our course to finish. So that leaves us with 7% overextension. Now, Netherlands. Let's peace out here. Full annexation, yes. And we'll ask for as much as we can off of this guy. That we can core instantly, because we gotta keep in mind. Can only core this instantly. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to wait. Fuck waiting. Right? Fuck waiting. So, looks like I want. to take out Lamu and take it for myself. Set the coring again. Okay. Bada bing, bada bang. ask for that. So we full annex the Netherlands and we get some Ethiopian land. It sounds good. We can ask for some money as well. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to core all of the overextension land, which is not that much. Oh shit, we can't core all of it in one go. Shit. Seriously, screw my coring range sometime. Sometimes. You can core most of it in one go. Actually, looks like I don't want to core any of that. Right, let's hop over to unrest. Use the autonomy in all those provinces. Delay the rebellion at least until the point where we can uh, finish the cores. Though well, the fact that I can't core everything at once is a bit of a bummer. Uh, 
then we'll add what we can <coughs> to a trading company. How's my corruption so low? Because I spend money to cancel that. So. We ought to go take care of that. And boops, I like with Hungary and France. Now, Hungary, I know, is separate, is 50% uh, all. The French are not 50% all. In fact, they're probably not even 100% all. I mean, they're probably not even 100% all in, in, in two wars. So, what I could do. Just take fifty percent off of them. What's the coalition like right now? Actually, I want uh, this out of here. Just want this to be coalition and nothing else. So there's France, Portugal, Hungary, and Congo. Why don't you just ally someone else? What am I thinking here? Ah, right. I'm thinking I'm gonna dial the Pope. And then set uh, Hungary as a co belligerent. <laughs> or maybe set France as a co belligerent would be better. That way, that's going to fire the coalition, but we'll be able to separate peace everybody. So, Congo, France, Hungary. Gonna cost me dip though. That's gonna cost me dip. Yeah, Burgundy is a vassal. But I didn't uh, annex and release him, so he still has a whole bunch of aggressive expansion on me. Um. Yeah, so we fight the Pope. And then we set France as a co belligerent. France's level 9 forts scattered around the globe, but we just happen to have ourselves a little mobile anti-fort machine. Can you get into Christmas Island before the tick of the month? You can't, fortunately. You have to remember to keep him there for a tick, because he's uh, getting a bit uh, damaged. So, 
Hold on, my phone is just exploding. Whatever. Okay, so we're doing that. I think that's a good idea. And then we might just be able to, like, peace out the Pope and ask for all of the Pope's land and all of Hungary's land. Yeah, certainly. So then the only one that we're going to pay dip for is France. Okay. Why'd I have to go and make things so complicated though, bro? Still, one of my armies is stuck there. That's not good. I, mean, I don't see myself fighting France with the... Uh, what is it? Oh, I've got three armies here. Okay, never mind. Yeah, and following the logic that we're going to separate Beast France, and we have to pay dip for him anyway, we may as well focus all the fire on him for the start of the war, and then we'll switch out later. Okay, Pope. Declare war, set France as co belligerent, imperialism. Go! Everyone joins, all separate peaceable, fantastic. Actually, but we're also going to probably separate piece Portobello. So, without further ado, Ugh, do I want to take care of those rebels? Maybe he teched up by a way. Maybe he teched up, or maybe he sold a ship and then it it stopped. My heir is a retard, but he seems to be good at fighting. So, take that. Oh boy. I done diddly do did it now. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these here for a month. Let them recover their uh, shit. Preventing the Congolese from uh, doing something, running around all willy nilly. And thank fuck that they don't have cores on this. Holy shit. That was a bit of a, an oversight on my part. Who are you? Say, are you Gafukafukishuku? I'd like to fight that French stack, but not with the uh, 52,000 men without a leader. So I have to siege down the forts first. Thank you, Burgundy, for assaulting that fourth. That is just amazing. I love it when you people when you people do some some shit like that. God damn it, fucking vassals! Assault. Lose five thousand men. Oh no, I see how it is. I see how it is. You stinking runt. I need to get those troops home. 
Also, we let a couple months pass, so the, these ships are fully repaired and good to go. Start sieging down that little eight fort. And France has a lot of forts, but most of them are level two, except for the deep Spanish forts. And that's level two, level two, level eight, level eight. Should be done in a jiffy. Oh my god, I see where his army is. Jesus Christ. I better not go out and take out my colonies that I'm quarrying. That'd be unfortunate. Speaking about forts. Oh yeah, I need to keep an army here to beat down the rebels with. Shit. Where is your capital? Your capital is capital is in uh, uh, Spain. One hundred percent. Yeah, that's why I don't like having Persia as a vassal anyway. Cause of shit like that. You don't. That's why I don't like Persia as a vassal because you get him as a vassal and rebels pop, and rebels uh, liberate their land and then instantly he goes up to one hundred liberty desire. And then if one of your other vassals goes up to 50% liberty and desire, they'll ally Persia. And they'll be like, hey, I am allied with Persia. And then the next day, Persia is going to get his independence supported by, I don't know, the Ottomans. And then Persia is like, hey, I'm going to add the Ottoman troops to my troops. And fuck you, anyway. I'm going to punch you in the face really hard. And you're gonna be sad, and that's gonna be the end of the story, and there's nothing you can do about it. So that's why I don't like getting Persia as a vassal. So it's only really free free land if you let the rebels do it, but if you let the rebels do it, it's not really free either. And after you're done with all of that, you still get to, uh... <laughs> After you're done with all of that, you still get to pay dip to core it, so it's kind of eh. I don't like it. But I mean, it's alright as a mechanic in itself, because it's kind of silly if... Um you can just get free land like that. And when are we gonna have this integrated? October 64, okay. Start beating down these Frenchmen then. <sighs> Isn't it almost the same thing as reconquesting? Yeah, but then you actually have to, you know, reconquest it instead of just, you know, literally getting it for free. I need to get these suck a lot. I'll just drop them off in Arabia and then come back. And then they can march into Europe and help with that war. Because I need me some help. And I don't suppose I'll be able to be like, Hey, France, I'm terribly sorry, but, uh, you know... Even if I could, I wouldn't give them the money. <laughs> so, yeah, there is that. Even if I could, I wouldn't give them the money. I'm about to finish Annex and DDR Jake. Uh, let's find the next vassal that we're going to integrate. 
Cyborg B. I suppose I could all also just like get a new navy. This is quite a useful thing to have. And now that I've got infinite money, well, I've got enough money to pay off two coalitions and to hire an ungodly amount of mercenaries. Golf piece Lithuania, yeah, 